First at 11, new details surrounding the death of 25-year-old Ruby Garcia. Garcia's body was found alongside US-131 late Friday night with multiple gunshot wounds. She also appeared to have been run over. News 8's Taylor Morris is live in the studio with more information from Michigan State Police. Brian Amber, during today's news conference, state police confirming the suspect, 25-year-old Brandon Ortiz Vite and Garcia were involved in a romantic relationship. The suspect was arrested shortly after calling himself into dispatch. This afternoon, we filed a number of criminal charges against Brandon Ortiz Vite, he's 25. Those charges include felony murder, carjacking, and carrying a concealed weapon. This is the man Michigan State Police are referring to. He was arrested Sunday at a local church after calling himself into Allegan County Dispatch. Allegan County deputies and troopers from the MSP Wayland Post responded to the 2200 block of 68th Street in Fenville where they located the caller who was believed to be the individual involved in the death of Miss Garcia. 25-year-old Ruby Garcia was found dead alongside US-131 southbound at Leonard Street on Friday night just after 11.30 with several gunshot wounds and signs of being run over. A day later, Garcia's vehicle was found in a residential area just north of South Haven. Yesterday, we had a chance to speak with her sister to learn more about who Garcia was as a person. She was a best aunt to my daughter. She was so funny and kind. She was a good person. She didn't hurt nobody. She never tried to hurt nobody's feelings either. According to sources, Ortiz Vite was in the United States illegally, making it the second murder in the past year that a suspect was an illegal immigrant. That's according to Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker. Who's Fabian, who was, uh, we had this exact same, it was almost the exact same thing. It was a homicide last May in the city of Grand Rapids in a vehicle where he was, there was a child transfer. So this is a second case in under a year where we've had a, a similar circumstance. Becker also says the suspect was arraigned today without bond. It continues to be an ongoing investigation. Amber? That police report indicates that Ortiz Vite was in the United States illegally. Tonight, we have a better understanding at how he ended up back in the States after being deported to Mexico four years ago. 25-year-old Brandon Ortiz Vite, accused of killing his girlfriend, wasn't supposed to be in the United States. According to ICE, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, Ortiz Vite was arrested by enforcement and removal operations Detroit on August 31st of 2020. An immigration judge ordered the 25-year-old to be sent back to Mexico a month later. But according to ICE, Ortiz Vite came back to the United States at an unknown date and location without inspection by an immigration official. We'll continue to follow that story.